micrometer. The rigidity of cornea is 520 micrometer. Before using the Goldman applanation because it it touches the cornea. Before applying tono pen, it it is necessary to disinfect. It is necessary to disinfect the tono pen prism with alcohol swabs because in hospitals there is a lot of patients and crowd so alcohol swabs are mostly used in clinically how can measure iop by applanation tonometer technique which technique is apply topical anesthesia 0.5 percent is instilled into into fluorescent instilled into eye conjunctival sac into conjunctival sac the patient is positioned at the slit lamp with his or her forehead placed forehead placed on headrest is placed on head forehead is placed on headrest and is instructed the patient to look f look straight or on opposite ear of doctor or ophthalmologist we use cobalt blue filter why we use cobalt blue filter in um, measuring the iop because mirrors are formed mirrors are formed so for contrast to enhance contrast we use cobalt blue filter and fluorescein gold manipulation have a dial in numbering 1 2 3 1 mean 10 millimeter hg if 2 20 millimeter if 3 30 millimeter hg if we measure and moving the dial and myers myers we myers when if myers align if myers align at Two mil two, which is present on dial, then then IOP will be twenty millimeter HG, and twenty millimeter HG. Goldman prism touches the cornea, touch the cornea, zero point three point zero six millimeter, and Mars will be seen. Will be seen. Mars will be seen on horizontal line this represent the fluorescent strain tear film touching the touching the cornea it is necessary to note that alignment should be clear and if this one then to rearrange rearrange means to centralize to northic northin neither thick nor thin this should be source of error inappropriate fluorescein pattern inappropriate if fluorescein will if fluorescein is excessive will result in mirrors to be thick if fluorescein is insufficient then mire will be thin pressure on the globe if pressure on the globe restricted the extraocular muscles may give rise may give rise anomaly in anomaly in iop reading why this due to pressure exerted pressure exerted on globe will change the shape and the shape of the cornea the most important thing is cct central corneal thickness most important because if any change in cornea 
will change in measuring iop if cornea is thick if cornea is thick then overestimation of iop if if cornea is thin then underestimation of iop in ocular hypertension in ocular hypertension the cornea is thick and give rise to false reading in normal tension glaucoma the cornea is thin other factor corneal edema astigmatism incorrect uh, calibration can result in false reading so manufacturer calibration is necessary prior to check the iop other factor may be tight collar breath holding may also obstruct venous return and can rise iop and can rise iop this uh, this is goldman aplanation tonometer contact and non contact contact tonometers are used contact tonometer meters are indentation tonometers are goldman aplanation schwartz goldman aplanation schwartz tono pen also used and non contact air puff tonometers are also used so which method is best and accurate for iop measurement for iop measurement goldman aplanation tonometer gives gives accurate value of iop but in uh, in clinic uh, or hospitals mostly use air puff tonometer because due to s- in spread of infection because in goldman aplanation tonometer touches the cornea in air puff tonometers non contact method which is suitable because patient can can save save can save from infection just like viral infection which is easily transmit from person to person bacterial infection conjunctivitis it is see so spread from person to person so for care air puff tonometer is used mostly in um, clinic if gold man aplanation tonometer is is disinfected with alcohol swabs and other way then uh, the best option is gold man aplanation tonometer